Okay, I am back for part two. Um, I had my lunch and all that good stuff. And I tackled this one here that was the problem child. Um, it just didn't get a good impression in the center, and I don't know why. Well, I didn't, but I do now. I had to take this whole thing to my kitchen counter top and, as Tim Holtz would say, do CPR on it. And I had to really mash it in there, which, and I got a couple that didn't turn out really well. I don't know what happened with this one, but it's a train wreck. So this one I'm happy with. So that one's really good. That one turned out good. Now the stamp is bigger than the card. That's why I made this template to go around to mask it off. That way it would only stamp in that area there. So that one's a keeper. Now I know this seems like a long process to make something, but if I were doing an order, I'm not saying that um, the navy blue and silver isn't uh, beautiful, but I tend to get more orders for like cream cardstock, brown cardstock, that kind of thing. So if it was an order for that, what I would do is probably mass make. That way I had some made up ahead of time. And while I was doing this process, I would make a lot more than what I'm making right now. I would probably make several of each. Like say if it was like the cream cardstock with the coffee color ink, which is very pretty. I probably make several sets of those in one sitting and then set those aside for for orders. Uh, it's getting cold here, the temperature's dropping, so I'm I've been adding layers. Alright, um okay, I'm done with that. I guess I'll do this one next. Um, and that is, I forget which one that is, took a while for my video to load too, so I gotta try to keep it under an hour or figure out how to edit. Alright, that is Stitch With Love, and then it's this sewing machine. I love this stamp set. I don't know who this is. I need to find out. Um, this is secondhand stamps, so there's really no no labeling or anything. I could probably look it up though, find it. And actually I think I have two of these stamp sets. No, no, I might. It might be in my drawer, my stamp drawer. Let me look. Okay, yep. I do, and it's TPC Studio Vintage Threads. I don't know if all of these come with that or not. I got it second hand. They both uh, came together. So, hmm. I'm not really sure. I probably could combine, combine the two. Um, but I really don't want any overcrowding because that's when the stamps... I've ruined stamps that way by stacking them. And um, I used to put them in these here these things and and just lump and no I ruined stamps like that so uh, let's see here anyway I'm trying to line this up looks like my 
I've got some lint on my stamp. That's why using these um, cleaning cloths are really nice. I really like that. All right. Um, all right. That is probably important. Okay. This one is tricky. That's the only thing about the red rubber stamps. I like the clear stamps, but I mean, I like them all, but for lining up. Oh, look at me. I'm on the wrong thing, too. Gotta do it over. Oh, well. It's going to be another hour. I'm just lazy today. Cold. Alright, that looks pretty good. Just want to make sure my stitched with love is straight. That looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go with it. I was ready to stamp on that. I forgot what I was doing. might look into different solutions to the embossing buddy. I think um, Jennifer McGuire uses uh, something different. Um, it's almost like a tool, like a makeup tool it looks like. I might, I might look into that. This thing is... I mean it works, it's just awkward. Okay. I'm glad I figured that this one out, this one here, because that drove me bananas. So now I know it's one of those stamps that it needs special attention. I was ready to take it out and put something else in its place. Like we have contact. Looks good. Alright, I'm going to use my heat tool.
Look how beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. It's not showing up so good on camera, but it's really beautiful. I'm almost feeling like it's crooked. Hmm. Uh, let me check something. <clears throat> No, I'm going with it. It's a keeper. Okay, that's done. All right, next. Um, let's do this one next. This is an easy one. going by again. They're just throwing salt down now. Okay. Love this set. So cute. Alright. Um, that made me sticky. Alright. Uh, oh, right here. This one here um, is a block stamp, and most of my block, well, all of my block stamps are <laughs> peeled off. Uh, whoever gets them after me, I'm sorry, but I use the stamping platform, so it makes it easy. Just gonna apply some new uh, double stick tape. That's all I do. Doesn't hurt anything. Now I could use glue or, you know, glue stick. I've seen people do that, but this is fine. All right. This one's kind of easy to line up because of the curves in it. And I'm going to have to go back to the clear. I just want to make sure it sticks and it's down. Just make sure there's no lint. All right. I cut more cards in case I messed up. Yeah, my fingerprints all over this one. If anybody out anybody watching has another solution to this, uh, let me know. I mean, I, I use it. it. It works, but it's just awkward. Maybe it's just the blue paper. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting enough. And that's a brand new one. Alright. That's going to work. Make sure I got enough powder. I know this stamp and it can be tricky up there. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to apply a little bit more. I just know the stamp. I have um, 
gift tags with this on it in my shop and I know when I do the gift tags I gotta do CPR right there good enough come on Mm -mm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think, um, I think I'm missing a little pin up there. Um, let me heat set it and see what it looks like. I didn't do enough CPR on it, I don't think. It's a tough one. Alright, I'm going to use my heat gun. Yeah, and I'm missing part of a button on that side over there. Hmm, this is a tough one. Really tough. Um, I'm going to try to do stamp it again. That's why I cut extra cards. This is probably like watching grass grow or something. Sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. That should do it. I might have to stand up and do this one. I think I might. Let me do it. Okay, the button's good. It's the antennas. Okay, here goes the CPR. Oh yeah, good, good to go. CPR. All right. I think we're good. And that other one will not go to waste. Use my uh, heat tool.
think that one's a keeper. Okay. This is how my uh, platform gets sticky from using uh, double-sided tape. If you don't take it off right away, it really gets good and stuck, so never leave a stamp sitting on there, especially if it has tape on it. It's a bad thing. It's a lesson learned for me. It just makes it hard to get it off. And this stamp here is <clears throat> Inka Dinka Do. Uh, it's hard for me to see, but because I got my old glasses on today. All right, what's next? How about we do this one? Because it's from the same stamp set. I like this one. Okay, that's crook. Very crooked. <clears throat> All right, excuse me. We got this girl here. And then sewing mends the soul. I love that. I'm just going to throw it on there and I'll line it up on my thinking that right there is probably good. Let's see what we get. Um, yep, flip it over. And I just want to make sure. Okay, that looks pretty good, actually. I'm going to leave that. That's why I like the grids. I want a um, a misty, a new, a, the new one that Jennifer McGuire uses. I want that one. Not that I don't love this one, but all right, keep going, keep going, or I'm going to be over an hour long. And I would love to get this in the mail to my customer tomorrow. Would be great. Oops. I've had people ask me how I get my stamping so clean this this is my process <laughs> sometimes take one take two take three to get it right okay I already did that but I like it I love to see what things look like after you stamp it love making things just wondering that where it doesn't look let me just give it a little bit more just worried okay should be good come on come on
Looks good. All right, I'm going to fire up the heat tool. Letting this heat up, I know everybody knows, but if it's heated up properly, it puts less stress on your project. And it, it works quicker. I love watching it change, transform. I love that. That looks really good. Okay. Probably keep the party going on that set getting down there three more to go uh-huh Hubby's on his way home from work. I better wrap it up. All right. Okay. This is so cute. I love these little stamps because they fit on um, small gift tags. I love putting them on people's, uh, or people's, customers' packages. Really cute. All right, I just want to make sure that that is... Mm. Just wondering if I need that. I moved it too much. Now I'm going to find my place again. Oh, don't be so picky. Just go with it. Go with it. Going with it. I wish I had a fingernail. Okay. Pretty good. It really makes a difference on how much of this you really have to saturate it so that you're only getting powder where you want it that is the key okay I'm going to use my heat tool
this navy blue and silver is growing on me. I'm liking it. Um, all right. Probably do this one next. I'll have to give these stamps a really good scrub uh, later and let them dry. They're all sticky. Okay, which that one is. Let's see, this one here. And I have quite a few of them because they were on clearance at one time and I bought some, my daughter bought some, my husband bought me a set. So if I need to do a collage of something, I got it covered. All right, I need this and three buttons. Um, doesn't really matter, I guess, but I need to flip it over because these are clear. I have a gift tag with the same gift tag like this in my shop as well. And you get to pick your cardstock color and you get to pick your ink color as well. It's nice to have choices. All right. Um, let's do this one first. Line this puppy up. Hopefully I'm not getting my big head in there, but Hmm. I don't know. I think that's good. And then I'm just going to try to line up the holes. I'm going to bring it to me so I can see. No fun with the old glasses, but I'm making it work. Okay. I think that's good. That's why I make templates on everything that's in my shop. Most everything. Because I have a lot of stuff in my shop and I can't uh, um, you know, remember everything and how it's supposed to look. This way here, I've got these samples. I can just pull them out. I've got a binder that I keep them in. And away I go. Yeah, I can't depend on my on my brain to remember everything. Oh, that's the hardest. I should put tape on that so I can pick it up. These are stuck down. I know these buttons can be tricky. like we have contact on. Hmm. Let me hit that sew machine up one more. There we go. I couldn't see where the thread was on the sew machine. don't want to get my fingers on it. Come on.
Looks good. Now I just gotta heat set it and then I have one more to do. Yeah, like it. That's a keeper. Okay. My uh, cleaning cloth is getting dry. I want to keep these out so I know which ones I used. Don't want to have to wash them all. So I'm going to do that. All right, next one I think is a combo of different stamp sets. I think. Let's see. Um, I know it's not these. And nothing there. Nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's something in here. These I have to clean. I'll put those in the front. It's part of the Hero Arts. Oh, I like that. Simply handmade. Hmm. That would be cool on little banners. Okay, these are the scissors. Oops. And then the thimble. And this thimble, I don't know if you can see that from there, but the detail is just amazing. All right. Um... Must be another set. Oh, is it this one? Yeah. I don't know who makes this set here. I don't know. I got this second hand. That. That. Whoops. Hello. That there, and then um, different thimble must be. Was it here? Where did that come from? Hmm. Is that in here? No, it's not. Where in the world is that? Oh, okay. Not there. Nothing missing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. N oh, this one. Okay. All right. Just going to line them up. Don't have to be perfect. All right. That looks pretty good. Any kind of luck, they're all stuck. So I know these um, stamp set, they're really sticky, the Hero Arts, but they're, I think they're an old set. Okay.
kind of not really sure where I need to be. Let's just make sure I'm not hitting nothing. I think it looks good. Hopefully, I've got good coverage. Yeah, that looks good. I love these scissors. They're like vintage, old looking, really cool looking scissors. Looks good. Got a heat set. Very cool. All right, that's it. Pull them all out. Oops. 12 cards. Um, all I got to do is um, round the corners and then pack them up. So that's it. That one there. That one there. Love this polka dot dress. Button card. This one's cool. Scissors are really cool. Sew machine. Buttons. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. Does um, using the silver embossing powder does take away from some of the details. I did notice that, and I have noticed that. So, but it really gives it really good coverage, and I like it better than just using the silver ink. So. That's it for today, part two. I'm done with my order. I just got to pack it up. And um, that's it. So have a good weekend. Take care. Bye.